YouTube, it is your girl and I am here with a haul video. So um, yeah, moving on. This is from Purr. This was given to us on preview night. This is, it's called Big Look oh, Extreme Mascara with Argan Oil. So. I am be I am going to be doing a Tip Talk Tuesday um, in regards to different oils and stuff that I use on my hair and on my skin. Argan oil is one of them. I it softens me like no other. So from my hair, from my root to my tuta, I love <laughs> argan oil. So I'm going to be happy to um, try this one out. I don't think that it is waterproof, and I have not been wearing waterproof mascara for ages. So this is right up my alley. I only wear waterproof mascara on my under under lashes, and I don't do those a lot. Um, from Sephora. This is the Pro Contour Brush. So Sephora was there. They had a, a plethora of brushes and you were able to pick them up for 40% off. As you, if you shop at Sephora and if you're a VIB Rouge member like myself, yeah, I spend that much money in Sephora, um, you normally get 15, if you're lucky, 20, um, I haven't seen 20% off in a long time. So being able to pick up their brushes for 40% off was amazing. This is a contour brush. I was able to connect with Sephora for the second time. Um, they recognized me from Hello Kitty Con and I'm going to be, I'm in the works with seeing what's coming next so look out for that because I, I can't wait I'm super happy to join forces forces with Sephora Sephora Pro so I'm super excited like they already emailed me like I'm really super excited so stay tuned for that um from preview night Bedellium or Delium tools I always say Bedellium because it starts with the B Bedellium tools this is their tapered blending brush um I do love Delium Tools. There's a specific brush that I should do like a review and tutorial on because it is that freaking amazing. Um, my girl Shannon, she was there. She won my um, my giveaway, uh, ticket giveaway, and she was able to pick up my favorite brush from Delium Tools, and I hope that she likes it. It was for like about ten dollars. This one I don't know how much it is. It's their short handled green brush. To be honest, I love the original yellow handle, and I. I'm in love with the, the purple, like the lavender one. So next time, next time, Delium, I'm going to be going in on those purple brushes. Okay, so um, I did pick up a few samples from Emberly, so I'm going to be putting this aside to, again, add to one of my Throwback Thursday giveaways, just to, just to include some something. Um, from preview night, I was also able to pick up Glamcore. This is the self adhesive, um, what do you like palettes? So, when you're a makeup artist, I mean, it's I do work with my hands a lot, but just not a lot. But I do work with my hands um, when I'm dealing with clients. I'm just all up in your face, like, okay, close your eye. Let me, let me, um, let me do that. So <laughs> it's easy. It really is easy to work, um, like skin to skin, or that warmth from my skin transferring it onto your face. It really does help a lot. And one of the things that I really like about this is that it goes on my skin. It can warm up your foundation super, super quick you know because it's on my skin getting my, my the warmth of my body and I'm just able to just and it's still sanitized so I like getting all my pores and my dead skin cells and stuff all up on your face and everything so I really really like these um I've used them once before so I'm super happy to have them again this is a 50 piece so if you guys want more information about this and how I use them I did a couple of videos where I did um, film myself doing makeup or applying makeup to people so let me know if you want to see those videos I don't know I feel kind of odd um, and of course me and my clients we have like girl talk it really is girl talk so we're talking about you know her husband and things like that so let me know if you want to see those videos um, I know she cool or you know they're cool with me posting them and kind of editing some things out but so just let me know but I tend to use that, those when I'm working on um, clients okay so moving on that is like I don't normally do that from Namies, they were they did bring dose of colors with them so bury me too 
from Dosa Color. This is the new one. Um, I don't even know when this launched on Dose of Colors website or if it has already. It is really similar to the original. I do have the original Berry Me, so definitely we'll be doing a swatch and comparison video for you for this one. Um, but if you notice, I'm holding two. So one is for me and one's going to be for you guys. So ah, super, super excited. Okay, let me try and go a little bit fast because I know I'm already at like 10 minutes or 20 minutes. Um... From, I'm gonna have to take my time with this one because you guys know one of the main reasons this year Kat Von D she came with a she came hard she came hard over at the makeup show Kat Von D was there she did have her face contour palette she had her brushes she had her eyeshadow palettes and I was able to get my hands on one that has not even released yet this does not come out until June baby it's March and I got it so um Thankfully, I was able to get it because they only had, she only brought 15 of them. And although I was the first person in line, I did not check in at the, the bottom. Press checked in somewhere else. And they let the public in first before press. And the public ran. The public ran to Kat Von D's booth. And I'm like, can y'all just hurry up and check me in? And by the time I got there... I wasn't the 15th person in line, I was the 16th person in line and thankfully the person ahead of me was a good friend of mine and she let me purchase it. So I really, really, really appreciate you and baby, this is it. Matt. Oh, oh, oh. So Jen, I really, really, again girl, I thank you, thank you girl, thank you, thank you. So <laughs> I was able to get this. Woo. Oh, ooh, ooh, baby. Ooh, I can't wait to play with it. Okay, so the other one that I picked up was the Stellar, the Interstellar one. This one, I believe, has more shimmer. That's all matte. That other one, the Shades shades and Light, oh, baby, that's matte. This one, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, If you guys don't know, now you know, I do have a blog. It is makeupvixen.blogspot.com. I've been doing just regular random reviews on it, but I think that I do, definitely do need to start posting more swatches. So these I will take pictures of and um, I will post swatches of them on my blog for you guys. And also I'll do the same here for, for YouTube. Okay, moving on. From Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics, I was able to pick up a cream and concentrate from them. I have, are they here? Right here behind me, numerous numerous buku of their lip tars but i do not have any of their cream concentrates so i am super happy to be playing with this one it has more of a peachy bronzy glow to it i got it in the shade discipline so super happy about it um there they did supply me with a brush i love these brushes these Putting concealer on underneath the eye. I know you're supposed, not supposed to use it like that. But this brush, I'm a makeup artist. I'm going to use it with however the heck I want to use it. So I do use these um, for concealers. As you can tell, I'm trying to go just a little bit faster. Uh, because time is running out. From Namie's Dose of Colors Black Rose. If you were with me when I went to IMAX, Black Rose was the thing to get. <sighs> Y'all was going in on this. It is limited edition. I, since I already have one, guess what? This one is going to be going towards a giveaway. So super, super cool. Oh, and Dosa Colors were retailing for $13.99. That's with um, the Namie's Pro discount. Um, moving on. From Zuka, I have maybe four or five of these. These come in such handy. They gave me one of their bags. I do want one of the Zuka bags. I have been playing around with the idea of getting the Sport, but I did find out when I was going to Atlanta that the Sport does not go on the airplane. So I would have to come up with another like $80 or $100 to get the next one up. From Senna, you guys know I normally hit up Senna really, really hard because they have $1 liners, but this year they had the same color, so I wasn't going to just buy the same ones over again. But I did get the Senna Pro brush from them. It is an angle brush on one end and a spoolie on the next. So I'm going to have fun playing with my brows and lashes with that. 
from Makeup Forever and you guys they did sell out of this this is brand spanking new step one base mattifying primer I played around with the hydrate I played around with the radiant one again when you go to the makeup show you do have time to play around with things so I played around with them I love them I didn't get a chance to play around with this so you guys know I'm a ole ole girl a ole messy girl so <laughs> I'm definitely going to be putting this to good use and nine times out of ten I'm gonna stop at makeup forever probably next weekend and pick up the large bottle and I want to say these were going the the full size is going for about twenty three twenty eight dollars um from this is new this is not like directly sold in the United States <laughs> we learned this from James uh, Vincent this is from Beauty Lish and the company that makes it is Bioderma this is a makeup removing water so everyone really really liked it but I was confused and I didn't get a chance to see the demonstration because normally when I see stuff like this in my kit I think it's water and I'm just gonna take a sip but um yeah I'm gonna be mindful not to do that this time they did have one for a sensitive skin they had one for oily skin this one is for sensitive skin so we're gonna see because I do have a swatch video coming up of the uh, LA Splash Smitten and the Lip Coutures and baby if I put that on and it's set, I might as well just get a cheese grater and grate my face to get that stuff off because it like, oh my God, it is, it is, it's brutal. It's really, really brutal. And huh, so hopefully that'll work to take it off. From RCM, RCMA from Blogger Night, they gave us their contour palette. If you've seen a previous review, I did review Graftobian's, um, foundation palette I was not a huge fan of it I still kind of use it but again it's not for me because I have oily skin and a lot of my clients have oily skin it is for those with a little bit more drier skin so I did contact some of my celebrity makeup artist friends because I know that they use on like RCMA and different foundations in their kit and they all all of them and I mean I'm talking about people that do Brandy and Adriana Grande and those people like the celebrity makeup artist you know does Angela Bassett they are using RCM RCMA so I'm super duper happy to have this um on hand and play around and test it I believe they may be at the fame expo so if I like it I'm going to pick it up if not I'm just going to run over to cinema secrets in Burbank and pick it up <laughs> um from Sephora this is the brush that they gave us. This is a foundation brush. The other one was a contour brush. I don't use a lot of foundation brushes, so it's probably going to go to a giveaway. So we shall see, but it's something about this freaking, ha the weight on this handle. I love it. I can just, ooh, all up in your face, just painting with it. Oh, love it. So I don't know. I don't know about that one, but maybe we shall see i'm just gonna say maybe maybe um from meron meron is the bared makeup remover and cleanser i did a um a video about their primer mm -hmm. y'all don't remember but i did a video about their primer their primer is freaking intense it's a liquid it's a watery liquidy primer so i don't use it a whole lot but when i'm doing movie makeup because they're under extreme lightings and when they when they're shooting the movie i use their primer so i'm super duper happy to be testing this out um and yeah makeup remover cleanser so i already love their primer i just kind of know i'm just gonna love it already